Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. All right, so what we'll do while people, I guess, make their way back from lunch, in case you forgot what happened so far, we'll just very quickly run through some of uh, the key points and then hand it over to Leon for the panel. So, uh, so we saw Liblinear, which is project sort of specializing around linear classification and regression. We uh, saw Vopal Wobbit, which is uh, very much built around online linear learning, but provides a whole bunch of other feature manipulations and reductions uh, for other problems. Uh, Torch is, uh, I would say, much more deep learning centric, but um, the scripting and uh, interpreter do provide it a lot of other flexibility, and there's uh, definitely a wide range of packages. Uh, Tiano, again, is more deep learning centric, but uh, the Python library actually makes it a uh, fair bit more flexible once more. Um, I think Shogun is probably maybe the most general purpose toolkit type feel of all the things we discussed. Uh, it was probably mostly built around kernel methods, but um, now provides uh, several other functionalities and hooks. And um, Stan comes more from the st uh, statistical and probabilistic modeling point of view. Um, and probably sampling is the strongest suit, although uh, like it was discussed also, uh, LBFJS based optimization is uh, implemented as well. Um, so some quick properties of the projects. Um, most of the projects are, it seems, based on BSD, which is a more um, I guess friendly license. Uh, Shogun, I think, is the only one based entirely on GPL, and with Stan, I think it's a bit of a mix. Some of their I'm um, confused about a combination of BSD and GPL. Yeah, so with Stan, their core is I think implemented with BSD license, but then some of the interfaces that people have done uh, are done under GPL. Yeah, that's what they said. Um, so uh, it's it's a bit tricky. Um, I think. Um, C++ um, still seems to remain the popular language of choice, uh, um, except for the deep learning folks, it would seem. Uh, uh, your your, your back ends are still, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I'd be curious to know about why people chose individual licenses. Companies are very frightened by ICs. BSD make it very clear that it is uh, company friendly. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the layer is easier to get accepted by company. But even with that, there are some companies that ask us, oh, is it really true we can do that? So, uh, I think so that's for, for VW, the reason why it's BSD is because when it was at Yahoo when we released the first version. The lawyer said, let's use BSD, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Um, I, I, I'm wondering, uh, so Shogun is kind of this, Shogun and Stan have GPL. We don't have a representative from either back from lunch yet. <laughs> so we, we can tell lies about why they're using GPL. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Um, I think the. And, and there are no Apaches out there. That's like true. That's true. They're very company friendly, right? Yeah. Yes, people don't want to be too friendly to companies. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Apache differs, if I understand it correctly, Apache differs from BSD in that uh, there's some sort of, we won't patent and sue you for patents mm -hmm. uh, on stuff that's in the code. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's. trying to release something on AT&T through Apache, and the lawyer said, now use BSD. Okay. <laughs> I know that some open source projects at Microsoft are using Apache license, and I know um, the, what, what's the one that, uh, that we're associated with Hadoop. Uh, Mahout. Oh, Mahout. Mahout. Yeah. License. I, I feel like Java stuff needs to go with Apache. Mm. I think all of Spark is also under Apache. Okay. It was really under. The, <coughs> so, so, so some of the Java people prefer a, a, a Apache yeah. license. <coughs> Maybe. No, what's the main difference? The, the main difference with an Apache license, uh, BSD is do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Apache <laughs> is. Um, I think they give authors. Do whatever you want, and we promise we won't sue you. Oh. Yeah, 
for so, they, for so they give officers a bit but more protection, a little bit of that. Yeah. 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 If you use my software, you can't sue me. If you sue me, you can't continue to use my software. So it gives some uh, power to the uh, software writer and liars not like that. Does company with their uh, patent? There's also protection against patent. Uh, my understanding was different. My understanding was that it went the other way around. It. If uh, if, I, if I'm Apache licensed, then I'm, I'm, I'm promising that if you use my software, I won't sue you for violating a patent. So, so um, the, the, the you can't sue me, I think, is already a part of the PSD clause. I need to read it again. Okay. Yeah. 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 But that feels that when you change someone else's code, you need to put in the comments exactly what is the original code and what code you have changed. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, in terms of platforms, um, I mean, by and large, um, they seem to be pretty friendly overall. Um, think Unix, Windows, and Mac are mostly supported for all of them, except Torch. I'm not sure whether it Mac works with Windows or not. Windows is um, support too. Uh, but uh, I guess, so a, su a subset of packages or most packages, what's the... OK. And uh, I used to have uh, Tiano uh, Windows without quotes, but then uh, what you said during the talk made it sound more like it kind of works. So okay. I put the quotes there. there. Uh -huh. there two the I see. I see. All right. Um, and the thing we can look at is um, whether uh, things work only on one machine or can they work in more parallel settings. Um, uh, so liblinear, um, as CJ mentioned, uh, has some cluster support now. Uh, works within MPI and Spark. I learned just this morning from the website. Um, VW provides support for multi-core and cluster through, uh, so it can work basically in MapReduce type environments, um, uh, as well as in multi-core settings. Um, Torch again works uh, multi-core through threading um, on cluster, and as well as provides uh, a lot of GPU support. Um, Tiano. De F again, has good GPU support, provides, I think, the, the linear algebra operations can be uh, made multi-core through, uh, through BLAS, essentially. Um, we don't have a Shogun representative. Their, their website had something about parallel, but, but then I could not actually find anything about how it works. So I'm not sure whether it actually works or not. And Stan, I don't think, has ha support for parallel. But again, we don't have a representative to dispute that claim. Um, a lot of these things do provide several alternative interfaces. Uh, Liblinear is probably leading in the number of interfaces that people have implemented. So that probably speaks for how long uh, things have been around uh, also uh, more than anything else, uh, combined with LibSVM. Sorry? There's a Liblinear interface in Torch. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so I think one... One kind of uh, amazing property is that there are probably mul multiple. So we, we know that Shogun interfaces liblinear, uh, Torch does, and pro. No, Vinny, those packages, because oh yeah, liblinear is like a very small package mm -hmm. used by Shogun and the Torch. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it's reasonable that uh, why it is so many yeah. interfaces, because it is used to be called by different things. Right. So, um, VW is. Uh, yeah. Byron, you wrap, uh, some of the that <laughs> <laughs> so, so we, we also have long range uh, dependencies, it seems. That's uh, even better. Um, and, and, and then, 
apart from that it seems mostly ev everybody is definitely providing command line support there is almost always some um, some degree of uh, library functionality that is being implemented um, at least in the primary language of the project and then other interfaces may or may are sort of more varied across the different projects um, okay so the, uh, the I, I think that python stands out there yeah python definitely stands out um, that's my experience too. I think um, a lot of people who are doing data stuff are doing it in Python. Right. It's a thought factor of three. Yeah, so, so Wabbit Wapper is just, uh, it just calls the <coughs> command line and feeds it through a bidirectional file. Mm. Uh, the new VW, had, or the current release of VW has a native Python library, uh, which hopefully will be faster because you're not passing things through pipes. Right. Yeah. Gets a bit packaged. So there's there's two things you can do. Uh, if you are just want you want to do multi-core with more than two cores, you can use the spanning tree, which is kind of heavyweight because you have to manually cut up your data sets, yeah. uh, which is done for you automatically on a Hadoop setting, but not so automatically in, in on a SQL machine setting. The other thing that you can do is um, you can fire things up into daemon mode, and the, the, the way that daemon works is it has a bunch of child processes. You can talk to each of them and then send training examples to each of them all at the same time. Yeah. So wait, you put the same set of weights? Yeah. So the machines share their... Yeah, so they should share the weights. All right. Um, so good thing is all the projects exist on GitHub. So I was able to at least dig up some statistics about uh, the developer base, um, and, and I think for me probably the most in interesting one to start from was how long the projects have existed. Although this might be inaccurate because um, you, you might have started out on Git later than the actual date, but um, Liblinear seems like has been around since 2007, um, and then um, Shogun is the oldest one according to GitHub actually, and the other things. Um, are relatively more recent, so, um, yeah, and that, and that, yeah. So, it is to, uh, for Torch, it is 2012, because before that it was on SVN, before that it was on Yeah, so I, I, I was pretty sure that the, the Torch year was exactly due to some such. Um, so, I would like to point out, I guess, the, the lib linear statistics, I think, are a massive underestimate of the user base. Uh, my experience is that, um, all over the place, the linear gets used. No, so this is this is at best a representation of the developer base and not yeah. the user base at all, right? So, um, and, and you know, we see that definitely a lot of the projects are getting fair number of um, contributors, um, and so so I guess that's that's good. That means at least a lot of these projects really are uh, sort of operating in a more open source software mode. Um, so, uh, can I go back? So. Why mm -hmm. is Stan partly BSD and partly GPL? Oh, yeah. Um, it's partly from the license in R. Okay. So R is GPL, and so the R interfaces, the link to R in the mm. Well, at least there's no point in making the BSD because the whole thing has to be GPL. And for Python, it's because the guy who eventually wrote it <coughs> wanted GPL rather than BSD. Okay. Rather everything was BSD. So you prefer BSD just personally? Me, everything would be BSD. I think one other thing that's kind of interesting to look at is where where the money comes from. Um, so um, I think Liblinear probably has been developed mostly by CJ's funding uh, yeah, yeah. from no you know from. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's pretty amazing. Um, VW had corporate backers with John being at Microsoft and Yahoo at least. Uh, 
and Torch again has had. Yeah, uh, Google now. Mm. So, so you guys, you guys are sort of taking over one company at a time. It seems. Uh, <laughs> Ronan is in, in Facebook, and right. they are using it, and then like, we already saw yeah. a bunch of presentations mm -hmm. on Facebook, definitely there. Um, and then like, we as a company, before joining Google, we had been using it heavily, but since we were startup, we, were, we weren't known, but now that we're inside Google, they want us right. to know. So, um, so Google is officially um, And then I think Tiano is a bit more like uh, liblinear in that it's... Yeah. Okay. They don't put money directly inside the software it's in their research. Hmm. So well, that's good. Um, maybe the, the biggest company is Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. Where does Shogun get the money from? You can tell me. Uh, all <laughs> Google Summer. All Google Summer of code. And uh, Stan's probably mostly based off of research grants or? Yeah, research grants, but they're not all to Columbia and also mm -hmm. consulting projects that we've done with companies like Novartis. Okay. Um, but there's only two of us who are actually funded by research grants through Columbia of the 11 or so developers. All right. And so, that's... Uh, before we finish, uh, Heiko, so can you go back to the licenses? All right. So, so it, it kind of stood out that I guess... Uh, uh, Shogun is GPL, everything is better than BSD. Oh, yeah, and the <coughs> so why uh, is that? Um, at last mix, uh, I was at this MLOS workshop for the source software, and I had a long session with Fernando Paris and Neil Rollins uh, about GPL versus BSD, and as a result of this, we're currently actually switching from GPL to BSD to be, uh, get away from the, from the parallel aspect of uh, hmm. GPL, I think, which is uh, quite hard to do. Uh, because uh, most of the people who work for us are uh, very idealistic people. So uh, it's very hard to convince them that they have uh, signed the switch to BSD. Yeah, uh, to, to so as a result, we're currently labeling our code uh, and see what we, what we would lose and what we would mm -hmm. painful to change the tree. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so Leon, you're up. Oh. Time for panel discussion. <laughs>